everyone can see uh, Cuban kind of screen, right? Zoom in a bit, right? Okay? You draw on top of the drawings there, right? On, on those references there. Add new layers. You draw on top of the layers there, right? Okay? You draw. Which one? one the layers there, okay? Not on top of it. All right? I open a new layer. Ah, add new layers there. Create new layers, lah. Okay? Always create new layers when you want to draw, when you start to draw there, okay? Now we can see actually, right, how actually you're going to work on that. Zoom in a little bit there, okay, when you draw the hairline on the strokes. Okay, good. Applying the stroke based on the flows of the hairline, okay? But press carefully, okay? Draw carefully, right? Now you're combining the cross etching and then the sketch line at the same time. Learn as well every time when you actually move your hand when you draw there, guys. So you're using, okay? doesn't have to change okay i'm using always i'm always using a default kind of uh what we call that uh setting there i didn't change any kind of my setting there guys All right, Shubin, okay. if you check look right now, okay, how actually you're going to add some volume and tone together with your hair strokes of hairline, okay, of those eyebrows, can you see the tone over here, All right? With the, because your images, okay, those samples that you actually have, okay, is too, uh, what we call that, is too transparent, there, right, okay? Oh. Uh, check back again the layers over there. The layer bottom there, right? Uh, Which one? 30% there, okay? How, how about uh, change it to 30% uh, to 50% uh, there, right? Maybe 55 a bit there, right? Uh, there you can see the tone there, right, okay? Okay. Uh.
when you start to draw the eyes there okay when you draw the iris and the pupil there right okay take a look carefully the shapes of it don't draw based on your kind of what you saw only from those photos there okay make it into a basic shape there okay the shapes that can be applied from every single uh line that you try to draw okay on the elements of the faces there right okay especially the nose the eyes the lips okay. even though the shapes of the eyebrow there right okay Sorry, sir. What the brush we need to using? Yeah, Ming Hao. Uh, what the brush we need using? I can uh, find. Okay, we are going to use a Cal Ultimate brushes. <laughs> Shubin, can you show our friend here what other brush that you use there? Uh, Cal Ultimate pencil hot. Uh, this is the brush that okay if you actually write come into my lettering class and also my previous class right i already repeat all this kind of things there right okay? and also i did basically give you guys also some example brief in our week five kind of folders there right okay check back again the names of those brushes there right? Uh, teacher. Yes. Kaki. Just now, do you, just now, do you have take my attendance? I don't know. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. 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 Yes. Oh, no, 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 nothing, nothing. Yeah. Can you close yeah. those uh, mic first? Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay, Kim Sin is here, Kim Sin. Not here. And teacher, I also have a question. I am cutting. Mm. Yeah, actually, my temper pen, I uh, no yet a uh, rice. Uh. So may I can use phone and I use the touch screen pen to drawing? <laughs> you can try first, right? Oh. Okay, because, you can try there, right? Yeah, because my touch screen pen have support the record the pressure level. Okay, can right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we also submit by PDF file, right? Yep. Uh PDF, JPEG files also can right? Okay, but uh yeah, PDF and JPEG right? No PNG, eh? It's not one of your friends actually asked me on the PNG, okay? It's not PNG there, right? All right. No uh, should be there, okay? If you check, look back again, how actually I draw the nose. This is not the right way to draw the nose, my friend. Uh, take a look closely how I actually draw the nose there. Triangle. Okay. triangle. On my demonstration, do you actually look at those uh, reference? Yeah. All right. I remember uh, you said the, the triangle. All right, but this is not the right way then, my friend, there, right, okay? Look carefully to those reference there. If those reference doesn't look very clear from these positions, there, okay, from these uh, levels there, okay? You can copy back again, okay, those uh, reference to the side of your photos or to your drawings, and then you take look carefully, okay, how the shapes of the nose look like. Okay, but I'm going to show you guys also later on now how it works there. Uh, we have around another, I think, another seven or eight minutes. So I'm going to do some demos from there. All right, look carefully, okay? This is not the way we draw the nose there, my friend, okay? Careful also the rest of you guys. Hey, don't just simply draw the nose like this one, right, okay? Even though we're going to develop the basic structures there. 
I did not actually draw the whole nose line there, right? okay? But I'm shading the nose line there. I'm shading the nose line there, right? Not draw the whole line of those nose there. But this part of the nose trail, we can draw them, the basic structures, but not the whole line of the nose kind of bone or structures there, right? Okay? Careful with it there, right? So learn from what you see, don't from what you think. I always, always repeat that kind of what we call that quotes there, right? Okay. When you look at how actually I draw the okay, what basically you look at the right. Okay, look carefully how actually I draw them and follow them back. Don't try to use or assume to draw based on what you know the right, okay? But from what you've learned, from what you see. Use your eyes carefully when you look at someone draw something there, right? Hmm. Try to draw back again those notes there, right? The shapes of it. Or if you're not sure yet, okay, just draw the eye first, all right? Uh, complete the eye kind of shadings, maybe they're right, okay? And then we can learn to draw those notes lah, later on. Your eyes also doesn't look right yet, there, right, okay? I don't have to draw every single eyelid, okay? Draw only suggestions line for it, there, right? I think you have the good control there, but your kind of general understanding will not there yet, okay? So we're going to learn later on, right? Okay? But I will show you guys also back again repeatedly, okay, in the sessions. But hopefully you guys can learn back again. Okay, even though my rough painting drawings on YouTube, only seven people actually view only there, right? So that means you don't actually check look closely how actually I draw the shapes of the pupil, iris, and also the eyes in the correct way. Look back again to those paint to those kind of demonstrations that I did there. Right? Okay, guys, take a look on the YouTube there, right? Okay. On my channel, how so actually I draw those portraits using those charcoals. The methods are going to be the same. The techniques are going to be the same there. The only difference is we're using digital and I'm using charcoals there, okay, to work on those demonstrations. Okay, look at it carefully back again and see how it's really going to be worked there.
All right, nice try with your hairline there, right? Okay, good. I don't think that I have to show you guys a demo. Okay? I can see your friend over here doing well. Right? Okay. Uh, careful with the hairline strokes over here. All right. Look back again carefully. Okay. The flows of the hair when you draw them. All right.
right. How you add those shadings line there, right? Cubin. The shadings line for the shadows. How you actually you you work on it? Can you guys show us, director? Can you show us, right? I cannot find the 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 pencil. Yes, using the pencils there. Use the same pencil, uh, uh, ultimate pencil hard. Yes, but you can change the size. Oh, change the size. Mm. Sir? Yes. I'm using the traditional method. Should I send it to the group after I done? I can do it. Okay. You guys can share over through those group there, right? Okay. The samples that you've been working on just now, right? All right, should be okay. I'm going to share my screen over here. Okay, let me show you guys back okay. again how actually I'm going to work on that. All right, okay. Okay, as you guys can see, okay, this is basically a different kind of reference that I actually have been given to you guys at the same time. All right, okay, how to work, and also I'm using the same kind of uh, what we call that brushes here okay we got ultimate pencils there are okay hard there to draw all this kind of uh what we call that samples there right okay, of those drawings here so if you go back okay go through back again how actually i draw those nose there right okay we're we talking about this one okay a lot of people make a common mistake they will start to draw this kind of line if you guys remember back again, whatever they actually show you guys before, I never teach you guys to draw like this. Okay? Don't draw something from your reference. Okay, follow exactly what you saw on the photos only there right again. Because some of the line, if you check a look back again, right? No one actually draw the nose like this. Except you want to draw the styles of those design there, okay? those uh, what we call the characters. Take okay? a look how actually I draw them basically there. Okay? Even though if I draw on top of it, I will start with this kind of drawing there. Okay? Take a look carefully there, right? Okay? look carefully how actually i draw them here right now and of course from here okay no one actually draw the line works over here no one basically directly if you saw some people actually draw them yeah but don't basically follow them if you're not sure how is it going to be look like normally i'm going to add those shadings like here like this okay circling around the shadows there right okay 
we can saw some of you uh, some of the thing that you you saw your friend doing there okay she's he's not sure basically how actually we're going to work with that you can render them up like this right blend it out there right and of course you can move your hands like this at the same time there okay adjust the size a bit right even though some of the areas you can actually shade using those uh moving to the diagonal kind of shapes there, okay but you can also circling around the shadings there okay the shadows at the same time same goes to this one there right but change the size if you really want to add some volume of tone for the for the nose trail there right okay but not too much there okay Rend it carefully, the shading, the shadows, the volume, the tone itself. All right. And this is basically those results there, right? You see that? But you can actually add more and more kind of tone if you want to later on. You guys? That's how it goes. And you saw how actually he draw those hairline. Even though I'm using a 20%, right? You can, I guess, and just draw like this one if you want to. Right? Or you use below than that. And you can add little more details there. All right, take a look how actually I draw the hairline right here. Some areas maybe you can actually press a little bit, but still work with a soft kind of line there, okay, to work with it. Go with the flow state. Okay. And I didn't actually draw every single eyelid there, okay? Draw the shapes of it at first. Okay. Even though I want to press a little bit here there, okay? But not too much, but control them, right? Draw some suggestion on those line and the shape is at the same time, there, right? Check look how actually I repeat the line. But I still actually apply the way that we draw the the, the eyes itself. I can see the shapes of the 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 iris that I draw here right now, and also the pupil at the same time. There, right? When you know how to control it well, the right, okay, those strokes, the right, okay, easy for you to develop the kind of understanding when you develop this exercise. Okay. Yeah. Right, look carefully while you draw the right, okay? While you look at my sample when I draw the right, okay? At the same time, see? Learn from what you see, not from what you assume that you saw the right. Even though I changed the tips of those size, and I change back again, I can still actually add those kind of tone of volume of the hairline, okay, or the eyebrows there, right? Okay? So look carefully back again how actually I work on that. Improve them from time to time when you draw them. All right, guys? Those are the things that you have to remember, okay? This exercise is really important, okay? Okay, for those who actually have the tablets, this is a time for you to develop the kind of understanding when you add the flows with your hand when you draw those strokes and line at the same time. All right. So, of course, all right, okay, when you go through with my way of drawing it on charcoal, try to look back again, right? Okay, I want you guys to look back again these videos there, right, okay? How actually I work on it, right? Because it's really important for you to see the difference, the big 
the the way that actually I handling the line and stroke at the same time. You saw that okay, how I actually draw the nose over here. All right. So look at it and and apply back again. The point is right now. The, the thing is right now. No, normally when you wash them, right, okay, you don't actually apply what you look at the sample when I when, when I draw that. Like, how actually I solve the problems over here. That's basically the common issues that we have there. Okay, people don't actually look carefully how actually I work with a certain kind of line, stroke, form, shape, and structures there. So that's why when you have a different kind of sample that you have in front of you, basically the, the methods is all going to be the same there, right? So don't apply from what you assume. Learn from what you see back again when you draw. Okay, when you start to draw lips, also the same thing there, right? Okay, take a look back again how I draw. I actually, how actually I draw the lips later on there, okay? Then carefully apply them back. Okay, just now, okay, in our lecture class, I did show you guys how actually I draw the lips there, right? Okay. So look carefully, right? Okay, the line works that we have right here. When people doesn't actually have that kind of understanding there, they will assume this is the lips there, right? So watch carefully with your reference. It's okay if you have to press a little bit on the line itself there, right? But not too much, okay? Because we, I actually still apply the quality of line over here. This is basically the lips there, right? Not this one there, right? These are going to be the feet there, right? Okay. There. All right. Look carefully when you draw them, right? Okay. Don't just simply draw from what you assume there. Okay. Study them back. A lot of reference that you can get also from the internet nowadays that you guys can uh, look into back again, okay, as a reference. Okay, even though you want to rely on my demonstrations, good, but did you apply what you learned? All right, and seek for more kind of improvement and understanding at the same time there, right, okay, because there's a lot of things that you can actually use as, as a part of references there, okay? We might going to go through with this kind of exercise yet, right, okay? But if you can't control your line really well there, right, okay? From this exercise there, okay? Those kind of exercise that we did basically later on, okay, for the next week are going to be useless if we don't apply the right kind of line there, okay? I saw some of your friends just now when I draw the right, Our friend just now okay, still struggling on the line strokes there, okay. Right, this is from who? Catherine uh Clarissa, is it? Yeah. Clarissa, right? Okay. So I can see you have that kind of skill there, Clarissa, okay, even though the proportion doesn't look well there, okay. But you have that skill that can be required to develop improvement from here, okay. Good there, okay. It's a good try here. All right. But add some shading later on if you can just to improve back again on your understanding using the tools there, okay? Okay, thank you, sir. All right, how about the rest of you guys? Send it over here there, okay, those demonstrations. Uh, so can I uh, share my screen? Yeah, I can, all right. Right, you're using basically the shading and shade there, okay, Weijin? Good? Yeah, is it correct? Yep. It looks right there, right? At this stage, I can see that you actually develop the kind of stroke that you want there, okay? 
can you continue to work on it? I want to see how actually you got, you work you work on the basic structures here. I want you to work with the the line work first, right? Okay. Other than shadings, there. Now you start with the shadings, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Normally, I start with shading. Then I start okay. to shift it back. To uh, why don't you start with the line works? I want to see how actually you develop those line works. All right, uh, Wei Chin, can you start to, to draw the human face? I want to see how you draw the human face. Okay. okay save this file there first. Uh, that one already saved. Stick to the layers there first, right? Uh, yeah, it's already here. Don't don't shades first, right? Okay, draw the line first, right? Okay? I want to see how actually you're going to work on that. Okay, especially you can draw the hairlines first, the, the 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 eyebrows there first, the eyes there, right? Okay, start with the basics structures here shadings can be become later there right because when you start to draw later on okay you're going to start with the line work first okay no shadings there first all right even though some of the styles we can use those shadings there okay i want to see how actually you de develop the kind of strokes there right I can see Xiaoru actually have sent it over. Okay, the samples there. May Hui also have sent it over there, okay? The light would be quite okay, there, okay? Right, then you can actually apply the shadings there, okay? Xiaoru and also uh, May Hui there, right? Yes, I can see that you have that kind of understanding there, right? Okay, uh, Wei Chin, good.
Okay, guys, look carefully, okay, how actually your friends, okay, solve the problem when it comes to draw those kind of line works there, okay? Okay, how actually he try to adjust a bit on the stroke cell there, okay, to control the pressure line at the same time there, right? And of course, okay, uh, what I saw from here, there, okay, he's not sure enough, okay, how actually draw the eyes there, right? Yeah, I'm not that mm, sure. You're not sure enough to draw the, the eyes there. there. Mm. Compared to the eyebrows, it's much easier. Mm. The eyes is much harder. Look carefully, okay, how actually the basic structures of the eyes there is. Okay? Because sometimes, okay, draw on top of the layers, of those reference is is much easier basically than you basically draw okay uh beside of those uh, reference there okay but of course there, okay uh, most of the methods and technique that we try to work on with okay it require a knowledge and understanding on the shape itself there right Just now, I did show you guys how actually I draw the eyes there, right? Hmm. Without actually just tracing them there, right, okay? We draw the basic structures here.
right? Nice controlling the, the stroke itself, right? okay? the shading itself, right? okay? And get the feel out of it when you draw and when you actually work with those kind of shadings there, okay? Carefully render them up, right? Okay? And learn to control the pressure at the same time, there, right? Okay? This is basically one of the main objective of our exercise. Of Okay, we want to learn to control the pressure first, okay, when you come to draw the right? But of course, okay, every situation that we're going to go through before you can going to get used to the truth, okay, it's going to be a quite challenging for each one of us, okay. But don't be afraid to make some sort of changes from there, okay. From this exercise, normally, right, okay, some people have don't have any kind of problems, right? Okay, to handling the tools there, but the, the the challenges are going to be happens when you actually start to develop something out from nothing, okay? Uh, that's the different things that are like. But this is one of the good exercise. If anyone want to learn to control the pressure well, this is one of the good exercise that you guys can work. Okay, in the beginning of the process of learning the tools they want, okay? Any questions there, guys? Any questions? Anyone want to share some some sort of work from these uh, demonstrations? I think I, I, I did give you guys more than enough time there, okay? But only 3% actually send it over here. All right, Clarissa. Shiaru and also Mei Hui there, right? Tan Chui Ping. Who is it? So, yes. since I'm using traditional method for this exercise, right? Can I use eraser? No. No. I, okay. didn't, I never use eraser to erase my drawing there. Because I want to get the proportion right. To get the proportion right, okay, control your pressure well there first. All right. When you start to develop the, the, the proportion, the structures line there, right? Okay. Control your pressure strokes there, right? Okay. Because we don't actually right uh, practice ourselves to develop that kind of erasing kind of mistakes, okay? Because one of the reasons we don't, I already told you guys, right? Why actually I didn't use any erasers? Because I want to create our confidence while we draw. Okay, even though okay, using digital we can actually use eraser for for some of the time, okay. But you may going to be look okay, you are going to watch okay. I actually rare rarely using my eraser there unless I want to clean up the line maybe okay, but not all the times. Okay, that's why when you start to sketch from now on using traditional methods, avoid using erasers there, please. If you really want to be good and develop your confidence from here, never, never, ever touch those erasers back again. Okay? Thank you, sir. As, okay, especially for the beginning of the learning experience here. When, when, it, when, when you become uh, more comfortable later on, okay, when you actually have been uh progressively improve your kind of skills there okay of course you can use that for some time okay for for a while okay but trust me one thing there guys okay if you actually have been improved a lot of your skill from here erasers is not an issue anymore directly because normally we are going to use erasers only to add some highlights on our drawings you know you want to add some highlights in your drawing. When you shade there, right, okay, you want to shade some of the areas. You want to add some highlight, for example, you're going to use erasers there. We're not using erasers anymore in order to develop, uh, to, to erase our drawings, okay. Let me show you guys how it works there here, right, okay. Uh, I've shared my screen there, right. Okay, for examples here, let me see I'm shading some of the areas here, there, right. Sometimes it's a bit too thick there, right? For example, like this one. You see, guys, right now? You guys can see there, right? Yes. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, some sometimes okay when we draw uh, using charcoal, for example, charcoal okay, pencil also can be there, okay. Normally charcoal, okay, okay. When you want to draw some realistic kind of uh, line work for the head, right? Okay. okay. Okay, how actually we're going to avoid erase our mistake, but we add some sort of highlight there, okay? Or line work from here. Okay, let me show you guys here, right? Okay, let's say I'm using the same uh, brush, but for erases only. This is how, what actually I'm going to do there, okay? Wait up, right? Erases. Can I use erases for this brush? None. Okay, it's okay. So erases again for these tools. The natural edge. Okay, see that today. How oh, actually I conduct the erases as a part of my line works for the hair. And this is what erases for basically for drawings there, Clarissa. You know, some some of the areas like this one, they're right. You want to get some highlight, some of the areas like this, you have some highlight over here. We're using erasers there. If you watch some of the demonstration from some of the artists there, okay, on the YouTube there, okay, they're going to be just doing the same thing there. We're using erasers to add some highlight there, not by uh, erase our mistakes there. Right? Try to add some sort of details right here, like this. Okay, but that's basically what erases for, not to erase our drawing set in illustration or in drawing basically there. But you saw some of this, some of the people like Proco also they use erases a bit right here to just to add some sort of like uh, add uh, what we call it, erase some of the mistakes, okay. Yes, of course, okay, some professional actually use them, okay. But what I've been trained for so many years there, okay, as I told you guys before, never, never use erases. In the beginning of learning experience because you want to erase your mistake because why because if you don't you don't try to develop your kind of understanding controlling the strokes okay as well when you develop your kind of uh, experience in learning those kind of drawings there, okay you will not going to develop your confidence there drawing is all about confidence there guys your connections your coordination between your hand mind and eyes together there, okay and confidence at the same times People who cannot draw well, even though they know the techniques because they don't build up those confidence there, that's all. Confidence how to develop the strokes, confidence how to understand how to develop the structures before they're going to add some shading and controlling the pressure and sometimes there, all right? Okay, when you saw, right, your friends over here, all right, uh, draw the eye, the, the, the iris there, okay? The black pupil over here there, okay? You can use erasers later on to add some highlights over here, not too too dark, okay, for the, the for the for the black pupil that you draw right now, there, right? Okay. You can add some highlight or the reflection slide from there. Okay. Guys, what happened to your submissions over here? Please submit some of the works there, okay, that you've been working on for the for the last I think an hour and a half there, right, okay? On these WhatsApp groups. Send it over, okay? Even though it's not finished, it's okay there, okay? I just want to see how actually you work on that. And if you record your video session, it's more better there, right, okay? Send it over here. All right, this is from Yeah, what Zinni there, right? Yeah. Okay. What happened to your voice there? Looks okay, no, it look great there, okay. The line works very you develop the kind of confidence that you take more time to develop that kind of understanding on shadings at the same time, okay? Okay, keep up keep up the good works over here okay but be careful when you draw them carefully okay be patient at the same time there right thank you zinning there right uh sir yes uh, actually i'm not using photoshop yet 
I'm using Sai. Okay. Can you show us okay the samples? Oh, okay. All right. How about the who actually just now Takian or who actually are you using the the smartphone there? Okay. Can you show us okay the results? This one from Malini. Which one? Yeah, yes. Chipping here. Aries or Kitty there, right? It's, it's Kitty. Oh, Kitty there, right? Okay. This one using paint to side? Yes. I remember I'm when using I, my own brush. Oh. I remember, I, okay. Paint to side have one of the default standard pencil brushes that I, I actually used before that have a very smooth kind of line than this one there, right? Oh. Uh, and take a look how I actually draw the nose there. Carefully to draw the nose kind of shapes there, okay? I have to be a bit more further from here. Okay? Melanie? Okay. All right. Okay. Improve more on the shadings, right? Okay? Because paint tool side have this kind of default brushes, pencil brushes that have a very smooth kind of line there, okay? I remember that, but I don't know maybe you want to try to draw those kind of uh, drawing. Okay, this one came from who is it? Aries. Aries. Who is it? Aries. Huh? Very size. It. Who is it? Aries. Aries is chipping. Is it? Yeah. All right, chipping. All right. Careful with the hairline, the right, okay? Even though this kind of hairline can be a part of styles of drawings, I, I not doubt yet, okay? But try to make it, the, the line works of the hair a little bit more smoother, there, right, okay? More smoother than this one, okay? It can be a style for you in the future, but not at the moment when you come to develop the right kind of way to draw those hair strokes, the right, okay? All right, Chipping? Okay. All right. So improve more on the hairline there, right? Okay, this one from? Uh, me, sir. Okay. Careful when you draw the lips, the teeth, and the, okay? Uh, I guess, okay, when you draw using traditional, like using your pencil there, right? Uh, yes, sir. Mm, okay. Careful with the measurement line, okay, the, the, the positions and also uh, from the lips to the nose here, okay, it's too long, there, right? That's why yes, before sir. you draw them, when you look at my reference over here, can I, can you see, the, okay, I measure the, the alignment, okay? even though you're not learned yet, but look carefully when you draw in front of you with your reference there, okay? Use your logic when you draw, okay? okay Especially sure. at the measurement there, okay? That's why when you draw like this one, it's hard for you to improve back again your line because you don't control your line really well when it comes to develop the structures here. That's why we're not allowing using erases, at the same time controlling the basic structure, uh, controlling the strokes really well before you're going to confirm the directions, the positions of your element that you want to put into those faces there, right? Okay? So this one there, right, okay? The shadings of the hair doesn't look right. Okay, careful with it, right? back again. Okay, some of the some of the shapes of the line works is too dark, too thick there, right? Okay, I didn't draw like this one there, right? So improve more on your uh, strokes, okay? Who is this? This is one is Grace. Okay. I'm not saying that you cannot draw the Grace, but you need to improve more on your pressure kind of strokes, okay, when it comes to draw the whole thing here right now. Okay. This one came from how Ming Hao there, right? Yeah? Okay, Ming Hao there, okay. We'll try for the first time, but have to be improved more on the shadings and the shape and the structures at the same time. Right? All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. 
Thank you, uh, K, everyone who actually have shared it here right now. So guys, now you guys can see there, okay, some of the example from your friend, okay, how actually they, they do those works there, right, okay? So apply them back there, right, everyone, okay? And take serious on this kind of exercise because they're going to be affected your methods later on when it comes to develop your kind of understanding there to control the tablets, all right? Any questions so far? Jia Xiang, Huiru, Yongxuan, Takian, Onisha, they right. I don't see any kind of sample of your problems over here. Uh, just now, there's, there's you also right, Onisha. This one is it right? This the one, one right? the pencil, right. yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, careful with the, with the proportion there, right? Uh, this one, okay, using the draw the leaves there, okay? We don't draw the outline for the leaves there, okay? Otherwise, they're going to look like you paste the line of those leaves. I don't think that this one, this this two line that you saw right now is going to be obviously been shown on those reference there. And see what you make mistakes here, right? The nose. You keep drawing the same things there, here. All right? Change them back, all right? Change them back, okay? Who is this? Takin. All right, uh, Takin, all right, yeah? Mm. I did actually give you guys example just now when your friend draw the nose there, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Right? Don't do the same mistake. While you actually have seen how actually I show them, guys, okay? Why don't you learn from there? Learn from that mistakes. Don't do it the same mistake there. Huh? Okay? Improve. I want to see some improvement from here. If you don't improve from here, okay, there's no mark I'm given the guys, okay? Remember that. Don't just take for granted doing this kind of exercise here. Right. So take a look carefully how actually your friend working on it and learn back again from there. All right. Any questions before we dismiss you guys? No. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, okay, thank you very much here, there, guys, okay? And I will leave you guys uh, here, okay, for a while, okay? We get to do another next sessions. And don't forget to update, to look back again on my kind of demonstrations, there, guys, okay? Learn from it if you don't want to seek for any different kind of uh, reference there. But I would suggest for you guys to seek for, for, for more further reference there, guys, okay? Don't just leave as a part of those live your life just to serve in assignments or projects only there guys live your life to develop your routine and your skill understanding and your creative at the same time there right okay so i'll see you guys okay on the next sessions thank you very much then and hopefully i can i can see more kind of submissions right here right now and who actually i've been giving you guys some comment okay please take notes and improve all right don't make, don't submit the same drawings, which is ID commander, right? Okay, those works there, right? And for those who added in command yet, learn from those who actually have submitted first, okay? And then improve from there. All right, guys? Understood? Okay. Yes or no, there, right? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Sir. Put on the chat box, okay? Put on the chat, okay? If you say yes. If you're not understand yet, okay, just say no, there, right? Okay. It's okay. So learn from there from time to time, there, right? Okay. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. And hopefully, you guys, okay, have a good holiday tomorrow, there, okay, while doing those assignments or projects or whatever that you have. But take care of yourself at the same time. And I'll see you guys on the next sessions. And have a good evening, there, guys. Okay. And try to relax a little bit, there, okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, right? Bye-bye. Thank, thank you, you sir. also for sharing the okay, those kind of